So one thing that's been bugging me uh, for a second is if you notice that uh, Ruby Cabernet, it's green. Ruby is a reddish color. So I, clearly I want to fix that. I want to adjust that a little bit. So how would I go about doing that? Well, one of the things I can do is I can simply click on the pie chart. If I click on it, just like all the other elements inside of the chart, it becomes highlighted. Now, the problem is every single one of my slices are highlighted as well. So what do I have to do? If I click on the slice I want to adjust, only that one becomes highlighted. So now only my green slice is highlighted. Now, it doesn't matter if I use this paint bucket or I go into the format tab and use its paint bucket, either one's gonna work. But again, that paint bucket icon, if I look for that, that gives me a slew for all the colors. Just like when I was filling in Microsoft Word or now in uh, Microsoft Excel, filling the background to cells, this is exactly what it does. It allows me to assign any new color that I want to it. And I'll pick this dark red that just makes it a little bit more of a, a cleaner motif in my opinion. And so you can see we can stand out a little bit more. If I want to adjust another color, say for example, I don't like the fact that I've got two blues. Uh, maybe I might take this blue and again, you see it highlighted itself and I'll give it maybe a dark green. And so now, okay, now nothing looks the same. Well, what about that column chart as well? These guys right here. Well, again, let's say I'm gonna click on just the blue column chart, any one of them, doesn't matter which one, but one of them. You're gonna notice that all of them get highlighted. And so I can do the same thing. I could come up here and I could do the paint bucket and you notice all of them are going to change. But one of the other options that we have is we have this format selection button. Now that format selection button, what that does is it pulls up a new dialog box, as you can see, that sort of gives me some options of what to format and what I can do with that. Not just change its color, but say change, for example, the overlap. You notice my columns are slowly changing, so suddenly now all of a sudden uh, my colors are actually superimposed a little bit. There's a, they're staggered a little bit more. Uh, I can make a little bit less of a gap width and so you can see I can actually start to uh, change how these uh, columns and this data gets represented visually as well as just kind of in our own heads. And as I train through these, you can see I can give them a, an effect, I can give them you know, some silly uh, shadow. I wouldn't really recommend shadows. We're in the flat UI world nowadays. But again, I can change the color as well. I could give it a pattern. Look at that, patterns. I could give it a gradient. Um, there's a good one. There we are. I could give it a, a good gradient color. Or I could just go with this simple solid color and pick whatever uh, you know my heart works with the best.